and welcome to Sheet Leveller. I'm Lee and I'm here to make sure you can use Excel quickly and easily with our informative video tutorials. Let's start by looking at how to quickly detect if a filter has been applied to one of the columns. We'll then go through the steps to clear or completely remove the filter from the table. First, you'll recognize a filter in one of the columns by spotting a small funnel icon in one of the drop down buttons. We showed the basics of creating a filter in the last video tutorial. As you can see, the filter has already been applied to the days and the season columns. There's nothing similar in the months column, meaning no data has been filtered out. Now, let's move on to clearing the filter in the table. There are two ways to do this. The first is to use the one click to clear the filter from all the columns. Go to the data tab, then the section sort and filter, and click on clear. This will remove all the filters from the table at once and reveal all the data again. The other way is to clear the filter column by column rather than from the entire table. To do this, click on each drop down button individually and then select clear filter from. This will turn the filter off in each column. You can use this method to turn off all active filters in the table. Finally, if you want to remove the filter from the table, along with the drop down buttons from the column headers, it's an easy process. Select the cells containing the drop down arrows, go to the data tab, then click filter. This will remove the drop down arrows that enable filtering. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button and check out our other video tutorials. And if this is your first time on Sheet Leveler, hit that subscribe button to join and learn to excel like a boss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.